All right. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are doing a brand new randomizer seed today for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, if you missed the last one, we were doing a Triforce hunt, and unfortunately, that one was a broken seed. We could not finish it, so uh, it was unbeatable. So we are going to start a brand new one. Um, instead of naming him Link, why don't we... Uh, why don't we do a little bit of a uh, name change for this one? We'll call it, um, uh, here we go, GIGALINK, all caps, because we want everybody to be, like, yelling the name. Alright, that's what we're starting with, it looks like. I think we got the Goron Ruby to start with, which is actually pretty nice. All things considered. Alright, uh, pots. Are those randomized? It doesn't look like it. Alright. Our entrance is randomized. Looks like Link's house goes into Link's house. We need to check other doors and see if any of those are randomized before we do anything else. Oh, no. Okay, so door entrances are randomized. That should be interesting. Um, that means nowhere really leads where you think it will lead. Um, it looks like rupees are not randomized. Because we're still getting rupees out of here, not items. Yeah, rupees are not randomized. Hopefully we got lucky and um, silver rupees are also not randomized. We're just going to check some of these doors um, before we go in. Hey, look at that. Okay, 40 rupees, 200 for the Goron. We can get a bottle for 200. And, oh, the silver rupees are mixed. Okay. Looks like Shop Sanity also because all the shop stuff is mixed around. Um, we know the shield is there, so let's go check back here and see if the Kokiri sword got mixed in too. I'm sure it did. Uh, so if I am a little late on uh, replying to chat or anything today, um, it's partially because my computer decided to, or my laptop decided to hit the wall basically. Uh, not, <laughs> not like, um, Literally. Hey! Kokiri sword in its actual place. Let's go. Okay, that's definitely good for the run. Um, yeah, my computer kind of hit the wall. Not literally, but uh, metaphorically. And um, so I'm kind of waiting for it to reset right now. Um, and then we'll get the stream page back up and running. Alright, so we got the sword. We know we'll need 40 for the shield. That gives us sword and shield right away. Hopefully making the Deku Tree almost fully completable, as long as we can find the Slingshot as well. Ugh, as well. Excuse me. It doesn't look like the grass is randomized, which we'll take. That's not a, that's not a bad thing at all. But we do know that each of these doors is randomized. Link's house goes to Link's house still. Gotta check all these doors. Okay, Great Fairy Fountain. A lot of key locations, it looks like, are going to be in the uh, the forest here, so... Or in the Lost Woods, uh, Kokiri Forest, whichever you want to call it. Okay, Treasure Box Shop here. So we got Adult Archery and Treasure Box Shop. Oh, five bucks. Oh! This goes straight to Thieves Hideout. Now hold on, that may not necessarily be bad. Here, let's uh, let's save right here. And then try and make a run for it. Nope! I should have waited for her to turn around. Yeah, they don't know where to put me. Oh, we can't even get over that. Bruh, she would see me from there. 
Oh god, okay. We know Thieves Hideout is the store, so uh, Kokiri Shop is Thieves Hideout. Is Mido blocking the door here? He is. You think I, you guys think we could backflip over him here too? No, I don't think so. That's okay. All we have to do is get 40 bucks to get the shield, and then we'll pretty much be set there anyways, so... And then he'll let us through. I wonder if uh, Deku Tree actually leads to Deku Tree? Or if it goes somewhere else. Almost there, guys. We're almost there. 38. Two more dollars. Two more rupees. There's one. And two. There we go. I think it was up here where the store was. I want to say it was this one. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get the shield. Already off to an amazing start right now. We got the sword and shield, so that will help us. So we're pretty much ready to fight anything, for the most part. I wouldn't really say anything, but pretty close. So let's go move Mido out of the way. Have we checked all the houses? This one went to where again? Ah, treasure box shop. Okay. Here, bear with me for one second, guys. Really gotta move this, uh... Stuff out of the way so it's not falling. In the middle of stream there. There we go. Okay. Sorry about the delay, let's continue. Loud rapper noise, apologies. <laughs> Alright, he's out of the way now, that helps us move forward. Yes, Navi, we know, go check the tree. Let's get our stick right away. You know we're gonna need these anyways, so it doesn't hurt to have them. Alright, our dungeon entrance is vanilla. Let's find out. Ooh, they are not. Look at that. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything here as Kid Link. So, uh, Shadow Temple is Deku Tree. Bro, I swear I swung before I walk into that. That's okay, we'll take a little bit of damage, it's no big deal. I wonder if the guy is still blocking the way up here, or if we have to go through the Lost Woods entrance. Okay, so he's not blocking the exit path, but does it even go to the exit, or...? Okay, that goes to the graveyard. Um, which we still can't do anything with as long as uh, that little kid's walking around in the field. So our last possible exit right now to get anywhere else in the game would be here. I should start prepping two, uh, two seeds, just in case one is, like, unbeatable right away. I've never came across that yet, but, hey, there's a first time for everything. So we'll go ahead and check here and see if it kind of... Oh, Hyrule Field, let's go! Okay, so we have access to Hyrule Field still. Um, the Deku Tree is the Shadow Temple. I almost said Spirit Temple. It's the Shadow Temple, so we can start checking the other entrances and see where they go. We need to know where we can get to, um... Oh, come on. There we go. 
I can't backflip, dang it. All right. Uh, we're going to check Lon Lon Ranch first because it's just kind of like in the middle of the field. We still don't know if uh, Skultulas are randomized in with the rest of it either, so we'll have to start checking those two when we come across them. I know there was some in the Kokiri Forest, but uh, being that it wasn't nighttime, I wasn't gonna really come across it anyways, so. Oh, okay, goes to the market. So, Lon Lon Ranch equals market. Alright, and Bunny Shop. Fairy Fountain for the Mass Shop. Temple of Time Entrance. Zora's River. Wow, okay, let's go back before we lose track of where we were. Potion Shop. Oh, yep, Skulltula tokens are definitely randomized. We got our first one, too, so we're on our way. Okay, regular heart pieces, that's vanilla. Does this actually go to the back alley? It does, okay. Okay, vanilla entrance back here as well. So it looks like pots and crates are not at all randomized, which um, might actually be helpful for us. It means it's going to be pretty much all interactions with people and um, chests and things like that. Alright, we haven't checked the uh, shooting gallery here, which is... Oh, Goron Shop, okay. Yeah, when we come across a shop, we need to try and remember where they are in case they have something important. Being that it's shop sanity, it's going to be kind of uh, difficult to, you know, remember where everything is. But I have confidence that we will get it. Alright, what about here? Where does this go? Is this the other side of the, uh... Oh, it is. It's the other side of the house in, the uh, um, Kakariko Village. Oh my god, dude. Move out the way. <laughs> Alright, what about the opposite... Oh my god, these guys are so annoying. Okay, what about the opposite side? Where does this go? Oh, wait. Okay. That's not bad. So, okay, that leads there. Can we trigger the ocarina by going this direction? Yes! Okay, ocarina achieved! Let's go! Now we just need the um, ocarina of time, and then we've got all those covered. Let's get our uh, sticks equipped on there, because we don't have those up yet. Okay, so that answers where Lake Hylia goes to. It kind of connects to Lon Lon Ranch in a way. So, we still have uh, Zora's Domain Entrance to check. We have the Kakariko Village Entrance and the Lost Woods Entrance. Quite the journey we got, you know, going on for us here, but I'm confident that we'll make it. I feel like this seed is definitely going to be a good seed. Uh, I feel like the only downside for the seed, though, is going to be memorizing all of the entrances and how they are swapped.
Oh man, the stall children. Did you guys know that if you're wearing the bunny hat, like the bunny hood out here in the field, those guys actually will not spawn these, the stall children? It's actually pretty neat. I never knew that about that mask. Okay, um, and we know pots aren't randomized, so it doesn't even benefit us to check these. Yeah. So it looks like we're mainly going to be worrying about, like, Sculptulas and, um, things of that nature to, to find most of our checks. Grottos. Okay, so Death Mountain Crater. We still don't know the Hyrule Castle entrance for the bridge either. That could go somewhere completely random. See, now I would be looking for the pot room right away. Um, that kind of goes in between the entrance of the bridge and the, the market. But because I'm not entirely sure that pots are randomized, it seems like it would kind of be like a waste. Just kind of like a waste of a... Uh, Oh, does this also go to the Haunted Wasteland like the last seed did? Oh no, it goes straight to the Desert Colossus. Wait a minute. Oh, if these guys don't kill me before I get there. One of the most annoying enemies in this game, I swear, it has to be those. Man, what are those even called? A lever? Watch its movements closely and let it go by. I did not know that those were called levers. I just always called them those things. Hey, bottom of the well? We might actually be able to do some stuff here. I mean, not as much as I'd like to get done, but, uh, it... it you know, still potential valuable checks. So. There's only one way for us to know. So we can check bottom of the well. Um, looks like we got a chest there. Okay, so bottom of the well may not be as promising as we'd hoped. Um, but there is a way to check that, so... Just kind of backflip over the hole in the ground there, because we know it's there. Treasure box shop key, that's over in the village. Or in the forest can't check any of that stuff right now. Alright, until we get bombs, um, or one of the, you know, the ocarina songs, we're kind of gonna be stuck, like, not being able to check the well yet. But that's fine, we know Desert Colossus, um, leads to that. And it's just a matter of, uh, Zora's River leads to bottom of the well. So Zora's River... Desert Colossus, bottom of the well. Okay, what do we get? Ah, uh, Deku Nut? Oh no, that means songs are randomized out in the, uh, the world too, so... Got quite a little journey ahead of us, hoping that we can find everything. Man, I hate these levers. Hands down, most annoying enemy. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. <laughs> Alright, um, we have two more outside locations that we can, like, directly go and check. We've got the Kakariko entrance and the Hyrule Bridge, or the, the Castle Gate. Hopefully some of these entrances will start to, like, 
make a little more s oh no yeah that's not worth it either so both of those entrances go to desert related stuff which is kind of good because they're already on the same side um, but that also makes me wonder what other entrances have been randomized and where because um, that means the potential for finding different ones is going to be a little difficult so but we're, we're on our way we're, we're gonna get there one way or another granted we have to wait till morning now um, but that's no big deal Hey, the PC's finally restarting. Let's go. Hey, pretty soon that means I'll be able to, uh... That means I'll be able to, um... Stream some better quality gameplay for you guys. Because, uh... I plan on getting it working on the computer, so it's a little bit better of a... A stream for you. No. Back foul beast. <laughs> oh man. What do you guys think the stall children were before they were uh well, stall children. The reason I ask is because their shape of their like skulls and their face does not match that of like a person or a Hylian. Hey, let's go. And we can get a free 20 bucks if we just go up here and then jump off the side. Technically, there's 20 on each of the chains, so you can get $40 if you go up. Ooh, okay, um, let's save here because any of these lost wood entrances and exits can go anywhere. Like that, for example. I mean that goes back into the lost woods it does so is that like the default exit it is okay and then I wonder if he can take me somewhere else Ooh, actually no let's go backwards down here I know it's a little crazy without the shield but uh oh no I'm gonna die before I Ooh, that was way too close. We almost died. <laughs> wow, that could have been really bad. Uh, that's fine. We need to get the Goron check, though, and see. Hopefully this goes somewhere. Let's get, uh, hopefully some hearts from these rocks. If I can get up, the rock blocked me. I got rock blocked. Alright, sweet. We are back to full health, so that's uh, less annoying. Let's save before we go in here. It's because you never know where it's going to lead to. Like that, for example. Look at that. That's weird. Um, Those look like two linked entrances for the same area. That's alright. We've got uh, two more exits we can check. We're just gonna come over here and check the item. Oh, Skulltula token! So we really need to check the Skulltulas because they're gonna be hiding most of our items, it looks like. We're going on a spider hunt, guys. Zora's Domain. Okay, that's not bad. We can do the diving game, we can check the shop, and we can check behind Lord Jabu Jabu as long as we don't need Rudo's letter. Or not Lord Jabu Jabu. Um, we can check behind uh, uh, the King, King Zora. Basically getting to Lord Jabu Jabu. Um, as long as we don't need the letter. So this goes to Kokiri House, not the shop, which means the Zora shop is... God knows where. Um, huh. F 
Okay, he's moved out of the way, so we don't have to find... Um, let's do the, let's do the Zora diving game first. Oh, come on, Link, move faster. There we go, getting two in one shot is how we want to do it. I uh, will make it. They don't really make that one, like, really hard. Please have something useful. We're kind of relying on these checks here because they're hopefully going to have some of the main items we need to progress. Uh, my apologies for the lack of stream quality, guys. It will get better, I promise. Just bear with me a little bit. Oh, graceful dive. No, not a Deku nut. Aw, oh, man. Alright, let's check the Gossip Stone. Ooh, Jabu Jabu's belly has two major items. That sounds like magic to me. Looks like that's where we're headed. Well, provided that it actually connects there. We can only hope. No way! Bro, that's f three desert entrances. No way. Beehive is not shaking. Dang it. We're kind of stuck then. I mean, unless we can go back to... Uh... Ooh, you know what? I think I know where we got to go back to. So let's uh, let's do a hard reset. So let's save like that. And then just do a reset like this. And then end up back in Link's house. Alright, so we're back here now. We need to go to the Gerudo, which I believe was the Kokiri store. There's got to be something we can do here. You guys think we can sneak behind them? Well, not if I do that. There's gotta be a way for us to get over this. Or is there another door down here? I don't think there's anything else in this room. We might be a little SOL here again. I really hope not. This is way too early to uh, have a messed up seed. I was feeling really good about this one. Hey, we got a treasure box shop. Silver Rupee for Ganon's Castle. And a freaking Deku Nut. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. 
That's it. We're checking every door. I don't even care. Great fairy fountain. Can't do anything. We already know Link's house goes to Link's house. And where do these two go? Deco Tree is Shadow Temple. We can't do anything in the shooting gallery. That's because it's Adult Links, so we're kind of like time warping there, I guess you could say. And up here was the shop. Out here went to... Oof, where did out here go to? Ah, uh, the graveyard. If we can make it nighttime and then make it back here, we can pull away the uh, graves and check the grottos. Yeah, let's do that. That feels like it, it can be very promising, so... Uh, to make it night, we'll need to go somewhere where the time actually changes and moves. Hey, almost a full wallet, though, at 82. Look at that. Heck yeah. Ooh, we didn't check this gossip stone. Water Temple has one major item. Okay, so it looks like the item pool is a lot smaller because it's not saying eight major items and, and all that nonsense. So we are back at it again. Ooh, there is a grotto next to uh, the Lake Hylia. An open one that we don't have to try and open with a, a rock or, or a rock, wow. With a hammer or a bomb. So that should be easy. I don't know if grottos are randomized. Um, a lot of these places are, are randomized, so it kind of makes it a little difficult to... Uh, guarantee that we got a good thing going for us. Do these guys follow me indefinitely? Alright, into the grotto we go. Ooh, that looks like a good item. Please be something helpful. Heart piece. Uh, I'm not technically upset about that, but I'm not exactly thrilled either. Bottom of the well has three major items, and we know where bottom of the well was. We just can't make it really through there without either an ocarina song or some keys. You know what, let's check um, Lawn Lawn Ranch again and see if we can't uh, check some more of those areas connected in there. Get a better thing going here. <coughs> Man, these stall children. Man, we are going to be doing some uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie here. It's going to be really fun. I think you guys will like it. Alright, Mass Shop went where again? Fairy Fountain. Okay. Oh, we didn't check Sora's domain. Mm. We need to go back to where the heart piece is over here and check there. Need to get ourselves a yikin though.
You know what I just realized? I don't think our cosmetics got a... Uh, got changed in the randomizer. That's kind of sad. Maybe they did. We don't know until we get another tunic. Yes, I know. I'm trying to see what's up there. Oh, a blue rupee. There's another grotto up there, though, so we'll check that one. Whatever we can reach without bombs. Do we just get seeds from this guy? Oh, yeah, I'm not buying <laughs> rupees from you, bro. Sorry. I will borrow your little chicken friend, however. And, uh, if this seed is broken, guys, we can always just go and do the regular playthrough of Ocarina of Time. Um, it's not a big deal. So, we'll, we'll figure it out. We can always just resume that if we have to, you know what I'm saying? In the meantime, until, uh, we get the rest figured out. Oh, man, the chicken would not let me grab him. All right. Gonna use our little chicken friend here. Ooh, we can also check where the other side of this exits out to because with all the entrances being randomized, um, it's gonna make it quite interesting. Oh, well, looks like we got something. Hey, we got a silver silver rupee from the scythe shortcut room in the shadow temple. One. Okay, the lost woods has seven major items. Wow. So lost woods, guys. Lost woods is definitely where it's at with uh, seven major items. Let's use this chicken to get over to this, uh, gossip stone. I know I could have just taken the, the pathway. Lake Hylia has six major items. Wow. So it looks like all of our major items are gonna be in, uh, Lake Hylia and in the forest. So we can just go check those areas out. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that leads to a fountain. Okay, that's good to know. So we're gonna have to go back here until it's daytime. Which, does it even change from day to night on the bridge? Ooh, you know what? We might have just trapped ourselves, though, unless we pause reload. We can check the Skultula on this tree, though. Ah, oh, silver rupee for the bottom of the well. That's sad. We can't really get out the main bridge until it's daytime. Oh, looks like it's turning from night to day here. I couldn't remember if that actually works on the uh, river or if it's just in, like, the other areas. But we can wait for it to become daytime. That's no big deal. It's almost daytime anyways, then the, the bridge in that area will be open and we can take the exit there and see where that leads. Come on, daytime. Daytime. Nighttime. Daytime! Come on. Once we hear that chicken crow, we're gonna go right through. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now the bridge here, there we go, should be open. We'll go through it, the, the gate, see where that goes. Oh, Lake Hylia, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Because we know we got some major items here, so let's look around. 
We can do the fishing game. We can... Um, we can check the bottom of the, the actual lake here. There's also a grotto over there that the owl's sitting on. Ooh, we also didn't check the owl teleport on the top of Death Mountain, so if we go back there, we'll need to check that as well. Yeah, I did not even read where he said he was going to take me. Because I know that once I come back out here, he's just going to be there anyways. So we'll go in the grotto and see what's in the grotto. Hey, okay, potentially good items. We don't know if the Deku shru uh, shrub like shuffle was on. Mysterious item, let's go. What is it? Uh... That's not the best item we could have got, but it's definitely not bad. Because we still don't know what these Skultala kids are going to give us. Goron's Bracelet! Let's go! That's a definitely a major item. Come on. Ah, oh, Silver Rupee for Gerudo Training Ground. That's okay, we still got quite a few checks over here. Um, none of them are that way. We'll come back to Mr. Owl here in a little bit. For now, we're gonna go check over here. Um, we don't know if the, the hut here actually leads to the laboratory, leads to the laboratory, or if it leads somewhere else. So let's save before we go in. Hey, yo. Okay, potential, uh, somewhere to be, somewhere to go. Looks like the carpenters are free, but it's also because we're a kid. Let's check this exit. Oh, okay. What about this one? We've got a lot of doors here to check, and they could all go to different areas. So we're just going to do a little check of all of them really quick. Ooh, this one's locked. Screw it, let's fight her. I can't even target her correctly. Bro, when you're too small and she can't hit you. Girl, you are getting beat by a kid with a wooden shield. Hey, let's go. Bomb shoes? Yes! Guys, you don't understand what that means. That means grottos? We can now check them. Oh, heck yeah. I just left the carpenter there.
See what I mean by the entrances could be completely randomized? Like, we gotta check each one of these doors, because we don't know where they go to. <laughs> Great fairy fountain there. Man, the Gerudo are hiding some, uh... <laughs> some serious stuff here. Hmm, let's climb the vines here. We've got two potential checks. Let's do the left one first. Yep, come here, kid, right? Or is this the one I came in? Oh, that's the one I came in earlier and I was a little back and forth. At least I want to say I was already in that door. We'll check this one. Yeah, we've already been in here. We need to find our way back. Wait, are there no guards out here? <laughs> there's no guards out here as Kid Link. Hey, there's Lakeside Laboratory. Alright, so oddly, you you still have to go through the lakeside lab to reach the lakeside lab? Oh, we almost made it in. Because there is a glitch that you can use to get into the Gerudo training grounds without it being open. We can probably get the glitch to work. If I could get Link to face the right way. Okay, so we're on the door now. Here, let's save on the door. Alright, probably not. It's probably not gonna work. Yeah, that's alright. Um, we'll just go in this door over here, see if we can't check where they all go. I think we've at that point checked all of them except for um, the Desert Colossus entrance area door there and seeing where that goes. I think it's funny that the guards are still in here, but um, <laughs> they're not outside. They're only protecting the inside of the forest. Or the forest? Wow, the inside of the fortress? So what we can do is we can climb up here, and we can actually hop right over. Because that girl's not up here right now. So we can actually use this to our advantage. Y'all know we just gotta find the right angle. There it is. Yeah, it works until you do that. So here, let's load where we were. Ah, oh, we couldn't make it. 
That's alright, we're kind of like up here. Um, the whole point of this is to get past the door. Ah, uh, almost. Alright, we'll try one more time and then we'll move on if we can't make it. Yeah. Alright, time to move on. I don't think we're making this. With all these exits and entrances randomized, it's kind of uh, a difficult to really kind of judge where we're going to be. Oh wow, we got the actual Lon Lon Ranch entrance. Um, that's actually nice because we can come up here and hopefully learn a song. We've got a few checks we can do here. Oh, that's right. I haven't gone to the castle to get the girl to come back yet, so unfortunately there's no, uh, there's no song just yet. No Milan here to teach us either. Okay, piece of heart. We can go check the back room way over there. We also know that there's a Skultula at the back of the ranch at nighttime, right on the back here. Bro, when Link rolls, he's as fast as the horse. We need to get back to Hyrule Field, too, so we can start checking all those grottos now that we have bomb shoes. Start cutting grass to get some more, too. But yeah, we're gonna move all these out of the way quick. And then, uh, we'll check back here. Hopefully it's something useful. Let me off the boxes! <laughs> A uh, fun little fact, if you push these back and go to the back here, you can literally just push that a little bit out of the way, and you don't have to move the rest of them. Ugh, it's a skull a piece, but we'll take it. Because again, we have no idea what the skull kids are going to give us for getting and rescuing them, so... Until we find that house, too... Uh... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit before we know what we can actually receive from giving them life again, basically. Oh man, I can't wait to get Breath of the Wild up and running for you guys. I think that's going to be so cool. Alright, so now that we've made it back here... Technically, it wouldn't hurt to try that again. You guys think we could make it this time? I mean, we made it up on the wall. Let's give it a shot, because I would be terribly upset with myself if I just didn't try. Alright, second time's a charm. Let's go ahead and save here just in case we don't know, uh... Hey, let's go. I like how she's like, a kid like you has no business here, but we were literally just in there. Where does this go? Oh, wow. To the entrance of Gerudo Valley. They got their stuff mad mixed up, bro. Mad mixed up. But you know what? That's fine. Because that gives us two or three more checks here. So we'll grab the rooster, and we'll just hop down here. Alright, 
Alright, we don't mind taking that damage. Alright, so... We can put a bug on there once we get the bottle from the shop. It's gonna cost us 200 rupees though, so we're still gonna have to find the upgraded wallet before we can do that. Death Mountain Trail has seven major items. Wow, we've already been to the trail. We need to go check that out. We're gonna check behind the waterfall up this ladder first. And then we're gonna head to the Death Mountain Trail. We might even have to do a hard reset to back out if the exit here doesn't take us somewhere that connects. <gasps> yes! Iron boots! Let's go! Definitely a valid check. That's what I'm talking about. Iron boots? Man, we are off to a great start with the iron boots already. Alright, where does this go? Hey, yo! That's exactly where we needed to go, guys! Look at this! Here, we're gonna take the injury. Because we need to know where that goes. Hey, the pot room. The only reason why this is good is because there's a Skulltula in here, which might have a really important item for us. <gasps> That's exactly what we needed. Wow. Okay, no complaints. No complaints. We gotta, we gotta enjoy this while it lasts because for all we know, that could be the end of our lucky streak. Did we just get a heart from that? Okay, and no more money, apparently. Alright, here, let's save really quick. I know Death Mountain Trail has a lot of stuff, but I want to see where he takes me. Ooh, okay. Um, we'll come back. Uh-oh, we're cutting it close again. Alright, that's one grotto we can check. Money and hearts. Okay, we take those. We definitely take it when that happens. Alright, now we move out and we go on to the next one. That means we can now for- Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Look at that. We can kind of cheat, <laughs> in a sense, and see through. We know that that's an important chest there, so let's go check that. What do we got? Hey, bomb shoes? Okay, I know that's kind of important, but at the same time, we take that because that means we don't have to use, um, more of our time to go search for grass and see if the bomb shoes are in there. Just kind of got like a free reload, basically. We can also open Dodongo's Cavern and see where that goes because of all the, uh, um... Because of all the dungeons being randomized, that may not even go there. That also means that we're going to have to check all of the Skulltula. Oh man. We can just use a bomb shoe on him. And hurt ourselves in the process, but that's okay. Yes! Zora Tunic! We literally... Okay, we've got everything we need for Water Temple now. Like, to get into it. We've got the Water Tunic, the Zora Tunic, and the Iron Boots. Okay. 
So now we'll go up and check Dodongo's cavern. Wow, that was definitely worth looking at. Yes, Deku Tree, let's go! Dodongo's cavern is the Deku Tree. And they don't look like Master Quest versions of the dungeon, so we kind of lucked out there. Skulltula chest. It's got the webs on it. Alright, we'll save again before we go into here. Yep, we know how to roll. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Deku Scrub. Alright, any useful items. Now, because we don't know if the slingshot's gonna be in here and we don't want to be trapped, that's why we didn't step on the platform there. Because we really don't want it to drop and break before we have a chance to even get out. So. Hey, Triforce chest, that's important. Oh, Stone of Agony, but not the slingshot. I much would I much would have rather had the slingshot. All right, that's fine. Stone of Agony will help us find the um, grottos that we don't know where they are that we may have or may have not remembered. Or I've said this before, but did you guys know that you can crawl right past these guys as long as you're not, um, or as long as you're behind their head when you move? They'll turn purple when you're in front of their face, but if you stop like right as they look at you, they will not knock you down. It's kind of a benefit. I like it. So we've got to check in here because there is a Skulltula in this room. Over here. And it could have a really important item for us. Plus we have Deku Sticks, so it's not like we can't just get right back out. Do the left one first because we want to see the Skulltula. Wow, an actual token from the Skulltula when the rest of them haven't been. Alright, we got a Deku Nut. We got Mr. Stuck in Place Boy here. Easy target. Uh, the reason I'm not so upset about getting Skulltulas is because we can literally just turn them in. And plus it helps eliminate some of the checks that we know we have to do. We're already at 8 out of 10 almost. So, we're doing really good in that regard. Alright, out of here and into the next area. Two more Skulltula down here we can look at. Wow, these ones actually have the tokens. Means we're sitting at 9 out of 10 right now to unlock the first, the first guy. We could really use a slingshot though. Or even the bow. Because we really can't get past this room here until we do. Mm. Mm. So our only option right now is really ultimately to just... We can either try and do the uh, knife bounce, like the, the sword bounce, off the upper wall there and land right on the top edge, which is not easy, but it's not impossible. Um, 
What else do we even have on us? I really don't want to get rid of the uh, bomb shoes just yet because we can use those to get into all the grottos. Yeah, we're not getting any more from this. We know the Dongo's Cavern leaves, leads here now. And now that it's open, we can get here any time. I mean, it might work. We could try it. Ooh, almost actually though. Hey, you know what? We'll take that because we killed the Skulltula we couldn't reach. And then we'll just go right back up there and save again and then we'll try one or two more times. If we really can't get it, then... Well, we'll just move on, because again, I, I try not to stick on glitches too much, but as you saw from the Gerudo Bridge one, or the Gerudo area one, uh, after coming back to it and trying again, I got it, like, second try. So, it, it's all about kind of, like, I guess your determination versus your, uh, patience. So... Oh, we didn't get the bounce soon enough. Oof, almost got it. Ah, oh, too far of a jump. Wow, the odds that we actually landed on the edge there. We'll just turn our character a bit and try again. We are getting so unnaturally close to it. It's almost like painful how close we're getting. Yeah, see, it's really hard to get the uh, the sword to line up and hit the wall at just the right spot. We are getting so close, we're literally bouncing off the edge here. Alright, we're going to do it one or two more times, and then, again, like before, we'll move on and come back to it later. Just for that purpose, like... Alright, last try. Kind of trying to get the camera to line up there perfectly. Oh man, we had it in everything. So yeah, you gotta kind of like jump off and you bounce with the sword and it, it pushes you back out of the corner and you keep the lunge still, but it, it's supposed to land you right on that corner. But instead of being on the corner, I keep hitting the sidewall there and it just pushes me back in the water. Um, it's partially because I can't find the correct, like, I want to say angle. To technically be right there. So it would be more along the lines of, like, that angle then, according to being down there and looking at it. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. If we could just straighten ourselves up here. Oh, man, it is painstaking how close we are. Ok, 
Okay, we took way too long there to do the sword slash. Weren't far out enough. Dang it. Alright, well, that was our last try. We tried way too many times after I had said last try. So we're just going to move on and go to the next area. We'll come back here when we have a way to actually get through it, but until then, right now, we're just kind of stuck. Um, ooh, we can go back up, though, and take the bird, or the owl, to Kakariko Village, and start doing the checks there, because there's a grotto in there, there's the chicken game, there's um, the shooting gallery, which, unfortunately, we don't have the slingshot for yet, but... Who says that that's going to stop us, right? <laughs> Alright, that takes care of that. I love the glitchy mess that is this platform. Uh, we'll go up here. We've already checked this grotto, so we can just move on. Okay, so this is where it's going to suck. Um, we're going to get Death Mountain no matter what. Uh, do we live through it? I don't know. So we'll save beforehand and do nothing but run backwards. Wow, that was actually safer to do backwards than it was going forward the normal way. <sighs> he almost attacked me, but I stopped. See, if you stop right as they look at you, they'll leave you alone. Let's check this Gossip Stone. Hyrule Castle has two major items. Okay, so doing the... Uh, Princess stealth scene will give us uh, one or two of the main items. So let's speak to him. Step under the shadow. We'll go straight to Kakariko Village. Ooh, which means we can check all of these spots right here. And it's still considered nighttime, so we can check for um, Skotulas as well on our way. Which is actually a really good thing. Here's the chicken game. Oh, we didn't check the two doors in Kakariko Village to see if they act- or not Kakariko Village, but in Lon Lon Ranch to see where they went, because the chicken game was right here. Which is kind of ironic that it's right here above where you get the cuckoos from the lady. So that's pretty funny. But we got three, at least, uh, that we can check out here. Three of the Skultulas, anyways. Okay, we got a blue rupee from that one. I would say uh, the blue rupee was the worst of the options we could have gotten. Well, actually, no. It wouldn't be the worst. The worst would be a green rupee. Now, that would be really sad. Hey, yo, piece of heart. Let's go. Don't forget we can check this tree, and then we have every door here to check as well. Oh, uh, bruh. That one landed straight on me. What do we get? Silver rupee for where? Forest trial in Ganon's castle. Alright, here, let's do this. Alright, that'll open that grotto. Ooh. Here, let's save before in case, we, you know. No! No, no! That's why I wanted to save. Just for that reason. Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> Does that one revive the other one? Because he's looking at him like, bro, I, let me help you.
Man, they were already spawning that chest before that guy was dead. They were like, yeah. Yeah, you got this, bro. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, let me just w <laughs> let me just waste the Deku Seed. Alright, so we've got all these doors to check out. As always, we're going to save before we enter in case it's somewhere we can't return from. Okay, this is no big deal. Kokiri house, so we'll leave. Zora shop, let's go! But it's randomized, so what's in here? Ooh, a $205 skull token? That does not seem worth it at all. Alright, so the Zora's shop is literally a bust. Um, <laughs> that's not anything we're gonna need. Uh, we need to come back here in the daytime. So we can do the chicken game. Does this go to the windmill? It does! We got vanilla- what is that? Oh, that's the toadstool up there! Hey! Oh, that's right. We have to come back as an adult. At least we know windmill goes to windmill, but the downside is, if we don't find the way that connects Kakariko Village to the rest of the world, we can't get here as adult Link. Um... So that could be very, very bad. Because the owl is what took us here, remember? Oh no, Zora's River. Yeah, see, that's why we save before we go in, just in case. Okay, so we'll go up the Death Mountain Trail area and see where that leads to, and we can also go out the main entrance and see where that leads. We could also check the two houses up here, but I believe that because it's nighttime, we won't be able to check them anyways. They'll be locked down. That's only as adult Link that we could do that. Um, Skultula. Here, let's try and line this up. Drop down. <laughs> let's go! What is that? Is that the boomerang? Yes! My inner rage demons are screaming at the excitement that is the boomerang. <laughs> I can't believe we got it. That is really good RNG right there. I am not complaining. Here, let's save right here because we're going to do a little... There we go. First try. You love to see it. What's he give us? Silver rupee for the sloped room in the Gerudo training ground. We have one so far. Alright, that leads us back here to check the grotto. Okay, looks like a spider. No, maybe not. I don't know. Spiders are the webbed boxes. Okay, silver rupee for the basement in the bottom of the well. We have found two so far. Hey, guys, check this out. We finally have it. We have a way to actually break the beehives. So if they are hiding something from us in them, they ain't gonna get far with it. Gerudo Valley has five major items. Wow. I guarantee you it's all hidden within grottos and uh, skultulas. If Navi talks to us, we can also enter the bottom of the well using the Navi Dive glitch. So, if we get her to trigger talking to us before we leave any of these areas, we're going to go do that really fast to get it out of the way. <gasps> we need Zelda's letter to get through this way. What if this leads to Hyrule Castle? What if this leads to Zelda's letter? Wouldn't that be some crap? We just can't do anything. 
Lost Woods. Okay. Not bad. That means we can also Navi Dive back through here to get to the uh, other areas. Ooh, wait, Deku Scrub? Mysterious item? Okay, $10 mysterious item is 20 bucks back. And they... <laughs> I love how he charges me first. Or he pays me back first and then charges me afterwards, so I still didn't get the money back. Okay, $10 mysterious item for a skull token. There's also this grotto here. Oh, we got the Kokiri stage. Which we don't have the Mask of Truth, so we can't check here. <laughs> Alright. Onward and forward. <gasps> There's grottos here! And I seem to have forgotten that. Can I get some more bomb shoes, please, game? Ooh, we forgot to check Goron door entrance in here, too. Mysterious item for $10. What is it? Peace of heart. Let's go. Oh, silver rupee for the spinning scythe room in the ice cavern. That's really sad. But hey, we got boomerang. That's really good. Forgot about checking the beehive up there. Anything? Dang it. Okay, let's go back and check the Goron entrance. Which is this way. As I almost go the wrong way. Should be through this door on the right. Yep, but there's also a grotto here. And we want to check that out in case there's something important in here. Aw oh, man, five bucks. Can we at least get a 20 out of here? No, another five. That's kind of half of what I asked for, so I mean, I'm not upset. Sad. Alright, but at least we know that we can kill the uh, Skaltalas that we can't reach now. And we can also pull them to us. Zora's Domain has three major items. Lake Hylia still has checks too that we can do, so when we get back there we can check the fishing game and uh... What? Hyrule Field? Okay, so that leads back to the Lost Woods. So the Lost Woods is the Hyrule entrance. These both go to the desert, which means our best check now is back through Lon Lon Ranch again, and to just do our loop again, but check the areas that we know we can check. Um, ooh, wait. As long as we're in Hyrule Field, we can check those grottos. Now, if only we could find the Temple of Time. That would be where it's at right now.
Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to use the boomerang. What is it? A Gerudo training round rupee? That's it? That's what we just risked our life for? I wouldn't even say it risking risking life. That's what we just literally did all that for. Okay, that's cool. We'll check them though. Alright, we'll get into these grottos, and then we'll uh, hopefully find some more useful items that'll get us on our way. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. Silver rupee for the lava room. Okay, that's not going to help us. On to the next. We really need to get back and find the right entrance for the Lon Lon Ranch so we can go check the Cuckoo game. I'd say that we're not doing too bad, but I'd say that we're, uh, we're not as far along by now as I'd hoped I would be. Nope, that's not helpful. Okay. What about the shooting range? Ah, oh, that's the Goron shop. Yeah, there's another fairy's fountain. We really, 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 really need to find Lake Hylia. Oh, did I just jump out all the way? I did. Dang, that sucks. Oh, we gotta make it out of here before nighttime. Or else we're gonna get stuck here for another little while. No, 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 we're not gonna make it. Ooh, did we just make it? Oh my goodness, look at that. Thank you, sir. Okay, here we go. We actually wanted to be here anyways for a few reasons. Um, one, we can actually get some more bomb shoes from this grass. Uh, number two, we still have to do the fishing game. So we're gonna have to wait for it to become daytime, I think, and uh, go in and do the fishing game. Oh, you know what? I think until we get the bomb bag, it's not going to let us pick up more bomb shoes. Yeah, we just went through all that and didn't get a single single one. So maybe we should save those two for emergencies for like if we find the actual Dodongo's cavern and we need to blow open the door. We do have the bomb flower or the the uh Goron bracelet now though, so we can pick up and move and use bomb flowers. Okay. 
that leads to Dampy's ship. In all honesty, I I should have I should have known that that's what was gonna happen. Okay. That leaves us in a little bit of a pickle here, but uh, not the end of the world. Okay, where does this owl take me again? Did we already check that? Well, we'll do it really quick so we can see where he takes us. Fly you to Hyrule Field? Sure, we'll take a little shortcut back. Then going back in the front door, bring us to the Lost Woods. We'll go instantly out the first door we can, which will bring us up here. Hmm, the Deku Tree seems to be where we're stuck at. Uh, if we can finish that, we can unlock some more areas. That goes there. Here, let's use him as a flight path down. No, talk to the bird. There we go. We'll stand here and kind of get... Okay, now that we're back here and it's daytime, we can do the chicken game. Oh, come on, Link. Oh man. Oh, come on, Link, stop going off the edge. Ooh, ooh, we have Navi talking to us. We can do the Navi dive glitch really quick. So let's do that and try and get to the bottom of the well. First try, let's go. Bottom of the well is Ice Cavern. We know that Ice Cavern actually has some main items. But remember, we also can't get very far in Ice Cavern unless we're Adult Link because we can't reach some of the areas. Bro, look how many hits that just took. Bro, this is going to take so many hits if we do it this way. But it's almost like... We really can't do much to injure them. Oh man, this is really not good for us. It's like our sword does nothing. Bruh. Alright, we're loading. Aw, oh, man. Had it really been that long since I saved? 
that's all right. I mean, we're back here anyways, but now the only downside is that it's daytime or nighttime, so we, we really can't do the chicken game or any of that stuff. All right, guys, so um, hit, here in about four minutes, we're going to do something a, a little different in stream um, than what I've been doing. Uh, we're going to be switching games, uh, so we're going to kind of like go to a completely different game midstream. Um, we're gonna kind of take a break from this one and, and like we'll do the same game, but we won't be doing um, a randomizer anymore. So it'll, it'll just go back to um, regular that, or or we'll find a different game entirely. Either way, uh, here in a few minutes we're gonna do that, but we're gonna take like a, a ten minute break in between, a five or ten minute break. Um, so I just want to make sure that it's all like out there for you guys, so you're aware um, that that's kind of the plan right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to get the PC set up here so we can get the stream back on hand the way that it needs to be. Um, so bear with me one moment, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here we can kind of wait for it to become daytime, and then once it becomes daytime, we can then um, attach ourselves to Mr. Bird here, Mr. Owl. All right, it's daytime. Let's go to the village. All right, now that we're here, We can actually head up this way. So let's get the chickens now. There we go. I could not get that jump for the first time for... Well, actually, I wouldn't even say for the first time. For the last, like, six or seven times, I physically could not do it. Do we only need one chicken? I literally almost went and got all of them. And then she gives us a Deku stick. This girl. Oh man, trying to set up this stupid thing. So sorry, guys. I know I'm taking a little longer than I should here. Alright, let's grab that. That's a silver rupee, at least, for the bottom of the well. We can use the chicken to get back in the entrance of the Zoras there and trace our way back. Alright, we've hit the time limit, guys, so I'm going to get out of water here, and then I'm going to save, and then we will resume um, stream here in about 5 or 10 minutes, um, probably sooner than that. Um, I just got to get a new game loaded up and everything, so we'll get everything situated. So we're going to stop right here. This is the exact spot that we will resume this game. Um, even save the slot there. 
Um, so I'm going to put us on B right back, and then I'll see you guys in about three to five minutes. Oh, are you guys in for a treat? Oh, yes. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what we'll be doing. I will resume stream in about two to three minutes, and then we will get started here. So just give me one minute or two and bear with me here, and we will actually get started on this. All right, guys, here we go. So we are back with our Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask full playthrough. Um, it looks like it saved our profile. So we can resume exactly where we were. Oh man. I tested this, guys. I swear it works. Here, let me reset. I had to reinstall the file just to make sure that it worked. And, uh, yeah, if, if this doesn't run at this point, here, we're gonna start a new file. We're gonna call it Gigalink. Just like our randomizer. And we'll hope that that kind of gives us this little uh, stereotypical good luck, if you will. 
And I will be trying to skip any videos that I can. Um, that is also just to prevent any more freezing or lagging. And, uh, yeah, so... There he is, Majora, aka Skull Kid. So again, guys, I am trying to skip everything, um, and that is to prevent any more lagging or freezing. I don't know if it's the uh, the file that I downloaded for the game. Or, or what, I tried to get it from a different source and it, it's still freezing, it could be the emulator I'm on as well. Um, so you know, it, it could be either or. Now the unfortunate side is that we are going to have to restart this. Um, look at Link's face, he's so fed up. <laughs> Why did you back up slow before you grabbed him? That's kind of what gave him the warning you were going to jump at him. Let's go. Start getting that money built up. Y'all know we're gonna need money. It's that banker kid that always wants cash in order to give you more. Which is ironic how you're kind of like paying for your own wallet, essentially. Sweet. Uh, I should have saved after that, uh, just in case there was a, a video problem or it, like, <laughs> froze again. I really don't want another white screen. Yeah, not usually. Trying to give you guys a little bit of time to, like, read it. 
and at the same time get my uh, stream fixed on the other side here. So if I'm a little slow there, I'm sorry guys. Here, let's pause literally right here for one second, guys. I need to, uh, I just need to run to the bathroom really quick. Just give me one second. I'm so sorry. All right, and I'm back. So sorry about that, guys. I had to run to the bathroom really quick. Um, all right, let's get resuming on Majora's Mask. Uh, I got to fix the stream info now that we had um, uh, actually had to change games. Um, so I'm going to edit that really quick for anybody that's just joining, and then um, we'll actually resume all, all of this stuff, guys. So I think this is going to be really fun. Um, it's been a while since I actually uh, went through and did Majora's Mask. So, um, And then we will continue our randomizer uh, next stream. Stream edited, so it should be all set for anybody that's joining in. They should be able to see what we're actually and accurately doing. So. Bro, he straight up abandoned uh, the other fairy. Like, did not even care. Okay, so the start of this game I remember is extremely slow, so I apologize ahead of time, guys. It's going to be a little slow at first, but we're going to get moving really quick. Oh, now she's all apologetic. <laughs> After booping me back from the door and running away. Definitely hurt my honey nut filios. be your partner, at least till we catch the Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? I like how she's, like, asking if we can get moving, but it's kind of because of her that we got stuck. Look, see, even Link's like, nah. He broke the fourth wall. He looked at, he looked at all of you guys. He was just like, yep. Oh, I love this room. Little secret we discovered last time we did this, you can actually make this entire gap in one go. Just like that. So I wonder, is that... Um, supposed to be like another link or is it just a, like the Deku tree from Ocarina of Time it kind of looked like the uh, the new Deku tree the little one but like a bit darker and thinner because I remember the baby Deku tree being like 
abnormally <laughs> big for being a baby Deku tree, but when you see the size of the actual Deku tree, it makes sense. Oh, the, enjo the enjoyable conversation with the mask salesman. Let's go. Hey, thanks for sticking around and watching, guys. Nice to see you guys in here. I appreciate it. Bro's been following me. <laughs> no, because that's not creepy. He's like, don't think me rude, but I've been following you. Well, I wouldn't say that's the nicest thing in the world that you could do, but... <laughs> If I'm skipping this stuff too fast for you guys, by all means, let me know. I will slow down and and not skip it as much. But uh, you can also pause it if you really want to read it if you haven't read it before. Or, or like I said, just let me know slow down and I'll, I'll slow it down a bit. Alright, we're going to go make him think we're going to get his mask for him. Obviously, we're not going to be able to. Last time we tried to play Majora's Mask, um, it literally froze on a white screen, which kind of sucked. Um, we weren't able to go any further, and our other file kind of got corrupted, so hopefully this, this new, like, game file itself will run better. It looks like it so far. I haven't seen the, uh, any indications to be, like, laggy or anything like that, so. Great Fairy, yep. And because we already, we know what to do for at least the first half of the game, I haven't played Majora's Mask in so long. Um, I remember, like, all the way up to the second, I want to say, like, giant and, like, temple or whatever for the remains. But after that, it's a little fuzzy. So, I mean, it'll definitely be a work in progress, but we're going to get it. It'll be fun. I can't wait to get uh, Breath of the Wild and um, Tears of the Kingdom up for you guys, though, because that'll be really fun to to do some of those. I haven't decided if I'll do a randomizer on those games because of just how large they are. The, the randomizer on it would take, like, way too long, and I just don't have the patience for that big of a game to do a randomizer on. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I just, I do not have that type of patience. <laughs> I really want to uh, start um, inviting like viewers to play with me on Minecraft and things like that to join like Minecraft worlds when I when I'm on and, and doing the the stream for Minecraft. I think that'll be really fun to get like people involved and like just let them play and build their own house in the world and and just kind of you know expand the the play space a bit, make it a little bit more interesting. Great Fairy of Magic, she'll give me the bubble ability, we'll use it to uh, chase down the kids and get into the bomber's code, and then all we have to do after that is just wait until the end of the third day. Go up into the tower and uh, shoot the ocarina out of Skull Kid's hands, which is actually where it froze last time on us. So, Hopefully we actually make it past that scene, you know, for once, and uh, actually get somewhere with it. Worst case scenario, we could always do just a Majora's Mask randomizer, like, by itself. Um, not one of the combos. And then, uh, it'll skip all the cutscenes for us, so we don't have to worry about, like, getting lagged or frozen out. Um, just, just a thought, in case we can't get it fixed up. Um, but now that I have the, uh, the PC all, all fixed up, I'm gonna try and do a stream on that tomorrow, instead of mobile. And, uh, hopefully the streaming quality for you guys will be a lot better. Um, as well as the viewing and all that other stuff, so. It's an effort to make it better for you guys. That, that's what, really what I care about, because, you know, the content's important, and I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. Yep, we gotta play the game with him. Alright, line up. We'll create a little save state here, 
so that way if for some odd reason we don't get, we don't get them by the next morning which is not possible um, then we'll have to just reload but I don't think I'll I'll mess up getting them before the next day it may have been a while but I remember where they are there's one over here there's one behind me right there there's uh, one more in the oh you little fast guy you nope nope where you going where you going where you both going Dang, they're, they're track stars. Look at that. Alright, we got one. Alright, that's number two. That was actually really fast. On to the next one. We don't have to be in such a, a rush either, because we're still going to have to wait for the three days to pass before we can even continue. So right now we're just kind of trying to get the bomb uh, the bomber's like code before we go in. So, this should make it a lot easier. No! We almost had him! Got you now! <laughs> Two left! Let's go! We know there's one up here on top of there, and then there's one up by the mailman's uh, post office. I want to try and keep him up here though if possible. So here, let's save and then just Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to happen. That's okay. We'll get him down here. Unless he goes out there. Yeah, I don't think the box helps you there, kid. One left and we know where he is. Is it uh, it's back here, right? For the post office, I believe it's back one and then over one. Yeah, I think I, I went the wrong direction for sure. And now it's over to the right here. Not, not playing this in that long will do that to you. But we're going to remember it as we go for sure. Plus, I got you guys for support. If you remember something, just call in like support information or something. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll think of something, guys. Bro, I love that he fits between me. Alright, there we go. Finally got him. I like how he says, you finally got me, like we're just that bad. Okay, so the code is... What, 41523? Let's save there so we have the code. Not like it's going to be hard to remember. So we'll just go back the way we came, but this way. Four, one, five, two, three. No! It went up! Let's try it again. <laughs> Four, one, five, two, three. There we go. <laughs> that was going to be so bad. All right. We'll get the moon's tear. We'll give it to the guy in the uh, flower for his little home thing. And then we can basically, that's all we really need to do now is get the moon's tear. Oh, man, guys. Just wait till it gets to the areas I don't remember. And then I'm sitting there like, what do I do with this item? <laughs> it's gonna suck. But you know what? That's fine. Practice makes perfect. I don't know what that was, but that definitely was not climbing the ladder. We're gonna save, like, in-game save as soon as we get the moons tier. Because, I mean, I could save state. I don't know if that's going to help anything, though. Yeah, let's let us look through this. Let us look through it. Up on top. 
Uh, there's a nice little secret about this. If you look through the uh, the lens and you stare at one of the birds, I think it is on the left or the right side, they'll eventually drop, um, I want to say, a red rupee for you. You just have to go back to the first day to do it or whatever. Okay, we'll go out there, we'll grab the moon's tear if I don't get stuck <laughs> stuck on the pedestal that one's in. And then we're gonna save here after we grab it so we have it in our inventory. Just in case for some odd reason the game were to bug out and, and like have a meltdown again before we get to the, the ocarina portion of everything, I really don't want to be stuck in the situation where we can't go any further. So we're gonna try and save beforehand after all that happens so we're not stuck in the situation of having to restart and and go gather everything again. I mean, if this file doesn't work and it freezes again, what, what do you guys want to watch? Uh, I mean, do you want to watch some more Ocarina of Time? Um, we could do some Minecraft, we could, uh, we could do some grounded gameplay. Um, we could do some Dead by Daylight. Could do there's a whole list of options that we could do we could do roblox we could do um yeah there's just a whole bunch of items if this weren't to work for some reason and you guys were still wanting to watch did it just do the thing i was worried about bro all right see that's why we had those save states though we'll, we'll load and uh, just to make this a little faster, since, you know, we just did all of that, let's speed this up to 250. And then we'll just run over, enter the code, do this a little faster for you guys. 51423? Oh, 41523. I did the 5 first, didn't I? 41523. Okay, so we'll take a different exit when we get the moon tier and see if that changes the... I don't know why it's doing that. This is probably really weird to watch in like 250 speed. <laughs> it's 150 extra speed than necessary, but as you can see it helps us get to where we need to go quickly without boring you guys too much. Yeah, we'll look into it. Skip past this whole cutscene really fast. And then we'll save state right as soon as I grab it. I know I said I was going to do that last time, but I was just trying to wait till I got closer to the flower, and now I just kind of wish that I did it right away. And we'll go out of 250 speed here. I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> go at this level of speed the whole time. So we'll save slot, and then we'll go back to uh, regular here. It almost doesn't look the same once you go back into regular speed. It almost looks slow motion now. Or feels that way after playing it at like 250 speed. It goes higher than 250 speed. It goes to 300, but that's outrageous. And uh, there's no reason to do outrageous stuff today. Oh, I'm not making that. Okay, I am. What, Tattle? What? What are you gonna tell me, huh? Is it gonna be something helpful? No. Just like Navi, you are not helpful right now. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna save one more time just because I'm cautious about this door here. I wanna make sure we actually end up without a white screen. Okay. That seemed to work. Um, we'll go back in here then. I wonder if that door was broken, because for some odd reason we went through it and it just it did just like glitched out into a white screen, and I really wasn't gonna have you guys sit there and watch that for ten minutes. Because I did that last stream, I let it run for like five minutes just to see if it would load anyways, and it was just five minutes of white screen, and I'm sure that that was really boring. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked by the dog before this is over.
Yeah, I'll give you the only item I got. Sure, here, take it. I got nothing else to give. And now we got the deed. He'll move out of the way. We're gonna get attacked by the dog. Look at him just ready. That dog is waiting, bro. Like, just waiting to get a fresh bite. And some Deku meat. Yep, there it is. I told you. We weren't gonna be able to dodge it in time. Nope, you're not getting another one. Okay. No! Hey, look, I'm in the I'm in the little picture there. <laughs> hey, free heart piece, though. We'll take that. We need three more pieces to make a whole heart container. So, now comes the, uh, the boring part of standing here. Um, but, on the bright side, because I can go to game speed uh, 300%, um, that's going to make the waiting for this. Look at that. We're not going to be waiting very long. So, this will make it way easier. Look at the way dude moves around. It's so fast. Ooh, we better save right here in case um, it, it has a meltdown. I want to be, like, ready and at the door. What should we do in the meantime while we're waiting? I mean, is there anything that we can do? We got the fairy, we got the moon's tear. I think all we can do now, literally, is just wait. Oh, you know what? We could have gathered some money and done the Deku scrub game. But that's okay. We can always go back to the first day after we get the ocarina and do it then. Because we'll still have the mask. Oh man, I am so excited. I got some stuff lined up for you guys. That's going to be so awesome. See, this is a lot less longer of a wait than if we would have... Wow. Uh, <laughs> instantly attacked by the dog. Whoa, what is that? That's the glitchy mess I was telling you about. Look at that. We just got a full screen full of numbers. Alright, that's one day gone through. Now we have to go through, what, two more? Basically. What if there was a way to just get past these guys? Like, do, like, the, uh, the pause menu buffering glitch from Ocarina of Time. We can't climb this, can we? No, we're too short. I am gonna get out of 300 speed here soon. I'm only doing it now to fast forward the time so we can hurry up and get into the clock tower. Just because I know it's gonna take a while to actually, like, get in there. So... I know it's irritating, but we'll, we'll sit here for another, I, I want to say, at most five minutes before it's it should be fine. Uh, again, thanks guys for, for joining in. It's really nice to have you guys in here watching. I know it's not the most entertaining content you could watch, but um, I appreciate it nonetheless. Oh man, I am just as impatient as uh this clock is moving. So, very much so. At least when it comes to waiting like this, I swear, I feel like it takes too long.
Bro, imagine you pull out the land title deed and it just like, bam, you beat the game. What? <laughs> That's unlikely. We're so close, guys. Just a little bit more patience. We just gotta wait for this night to go by. Then we just got half of a day after that, and then we'll be ready to go. Here, we better save state again now that we've passed so much time, so if we have to load again, it's not... We don't have to wait all that time again. What do you guys think about doing some uh, Twilight Princess on stream? Or some Skyward Sword? Some Zelda Skyward Sword or Zelda Twilight Princess? I was thinking we might even do some like Pokemon games down the line for those people that like Pokemon. You know, just have like a variety of games and stuff for people to watch. Doesn't really make it fun if there's not, you know, a variety. We want everybody to kind of, you know, get a little taste of what they like. Plus, as the gamer tamer, you know that we need to be out there taming games, guys. So, we gotta be uh, plowing through them and, and getting them done. If you guys are uh, watching this on YouTube when it comes out and you're seeing uh, seeing this, um, you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely leave a comment and let me know what you want to see and what you want done, and uh, we'll uh, alter the schedule accordingly. Try to make it a little more interesting for everybody. We're so close. Just a little longer. As soon as we hit night of the final day, we'll do it, uh... Well, maybe not as soon as. Maybe we'll wait till, like, when the clock tower opens. And then we'll save. Yeah, seems like a better option. We'll just we'll wait till like the night of the or the, the last little bit before it's open. Yep, we know midnight. Thank you, Tattle. I like how when you move, the uh, the dial for the time like disappears, and if you're stopped for long enough, it kind of resumes. Three more hours, and then we can go back to regular speed. Imagine if the game was already in this speed when you got it. You know how hard that would be, like... Ooh, what if we did that for a stream once? Zelda, but it's in 300% speed. Alright, we'll save here, go back to regular speed, and we are onward, let's go. 
See, now this is the part that messed us up last time. This is where it froze. Excuse me, mashing the buttons trying to skip this. I just really don't want it to freeze. So once we knock it out of his hand, pick it up, and get the cutscene from Zelda, that's usually when it freezes, like right as the cutscene from Zelda ends. So all we can really do right now is hope that it doesn't. Yep, set it to C for the buttons, play it, press B to stop, suddenly memories of Princess Zelda. Here it is. Here's where it froze last time, it was like right after this. Alright, here we get our trusty ocarina. <laughs> She's just yelling at me for daydreaming. Well, you know, I had to try anyways. I know it wasn't going to work, but I had to try. I don't know, but we're going to save right here just in case. Here it goes. Potential freeze. Will it freeze or will it load past this? Please, please, please load past this. No, all of our hard-earned collected money! Okay, that screen loaded. That screen loaded. Oh, guys, maybe. <gasps> yes! It finally loaded past it. Uh, but you guys saw I wasn't kidding though. You saw it froze before when we went through the other doorway. Um, no, I didn't forget. You're just spending a long time talking to me, Tattle, so I can't really go in and check.
Not bad. Heals evil magic, huh? Wait, but it's like, if he's wearing it, right? And it just said that when you're wearing it, it'll keep the mask energy in, and when you take it off, it'll take it out. Once you turn into the Deku, how are you grabbing a mask off your face if that's the real face, if that mask is your face. <laughs> I forgot about that part. That is my favorite thing in the world. I love it. We're just going to let him Homer Simpson him for a minute. Just so you guys can get that image flushed right in your head. There you go. Enjoy that. What tribe do you think they're referencing, guys? Well, like, what tribe? Maybe the Sheikah tribe? Or do you think maybe, like, Tears of the Kingdom Zonai type? Alright, so we're gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna go... Uh, which direction is it for the bombers? Do you guys think the code is still the same? 41523? better start equipping masks into our inventory so that way we have a uh... oh we should have struck the statue to save with the sword
Wait, do I even have to go in and get the moon's tear again for this? I think I just had to go in and come back out, right? And then they'll give me the bomber's notebook. Yep. <laughs> Giggling, huh? Sweet. Ooh, we can get the piece of heart up here now, too. Uh, we'll just go around like normal, then. Let's go. Oh, we need to get the ferry again, huh? Because can't you go back with the fairy again and get something else from her? Like when you're human? I believe you just have to be human for it. Aw, oh, man. I wasn't trying to trigger you, dude. I'm not trying to use your stuff when you're not around. You just assumed that I was. Yes. <clears throat> yes, we got the fairy mask already. Much easier. And off to the forest.
Fine, I'll talk to you. I had to stare him down for a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Something tells me we should probably save in case... You know, better safe than sorry. If you guys have not seen the more animated versions of these, you should definitely go on YouTube and check those out. Man, are they worth watching. There's like really well animated ones in Unreal Engine 5 that this guy redid. And it makes this, it, it totally is way better. Kokiri Forest theme. The random cow in the background. Like, that totally ruined the dramatic effect of that just at the very end. Moo. <laughs> Thanks. No, 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 you come back here, bro. You ain't getting... No, oh, no. I guess you are getting away this time. I'm glad we actually made that. Oh, we don't have money for his maps anyways. Why are we trying to knock him down? Sorry, I don't have the deed for you, bro. That's over at the main area, so... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's right. Isn't she knocked out in the woods? That's fine. We know this water is safe. We actually didn't get these, that's right, we skipped a little chest in the beginning that had them in there. And we're gonna have to go in and talk to her first because it's not a randomizer, so we won't have a chance of getting a bottle beforehand. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, then we'll go back out this way. Plot twist, Majora's Mask is just one giant fever dream for Link. That's why none of the locations make sense, but he knows all the people. Like, he's seen them all before. Like, these are the sisters that become Twin Rova. And all that good jazz. I don't know, it just makes sense to me. Yeah, we'll bring her the red potion and not accidentally drink it like the first time I ever played this. God, that was funny too. I didn't even mean to do that. When I very when I very very first like played this game ever for the first time, I had figured out that I had to bring the red potion to her and I had gotten all the way to her and then I drank it. I know, can you guys believe that? I love how Link still has his arm out for the bottle, like, um, do I get anything back?
anything? Okay, I guess I have to talk to her first. Oh, because she's the one that gives me the pictograph box. Can we just freeze the game by taking a picture? I was gonna say... That should be a good picture. If it ever loads. Yes, we'll keep that picture. Oh, we're keeping the picture. Can't believe I forgot to slow time down. Don't talk to the guards. All right. Bear with me one second here. Alright guys, so we're gonna have to cut stream a little early today. Um, I hate to do that, but we have I have no choice, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have to get up a little earlier tomorrow to do uh, an extra special stream for you guys. And uh, I need to make sure that I have time to get that set up. So, um, we're going to cut it short here. I wanted to thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining me on this game. We're going to pause and save it right here. Um, and then we will resume it on our next video, as well as our randomizer 
um, along with a special little treat for you guys to kind of throw in there. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you've missed any videos or you, you know you, you, there's something you wanna you know speak with me about, um, you can reach my Twitter or you can watch the videos on my YouTube. Both are linked to the account here. So um, yeah, at any point, feel free to check that out, message me or whatever the case may be. Uh, otherwise, you guys have a lovely day and or night, and thank you so much for joining. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.